Hi, my name's Paul O'Neill from the Academy and I'm here to talk you through a great feature called Mirror Screen. Mirror Screen is a feature that allows you to connect your smartphone directly via the USB port to the touch screen. It allows you to operate compatible apps from the screen without having to touch or look at your phone, giving the driver more functionality from their smartphone and allowing them to operate it safely and legally from the touch screen integrated into the car. So to see that working, you need to know the four steps to connect up a compatible phone. Step one, before you start, check the list of mirror screen compatible phones in the most up-to-date price and specification guide. Step two, then go to the app store relating to your phone. I'm going to use a Samsung Galaxy S3, so I went to the Samsung app store. This app is currently only available through the Samsung app store and not other providers like Google Play. Step three, once that's downloaded onto your phone, the next thing you need to do is connect your phone to the USB socket using the cable that was supplied with it. Before you do this, make sure you unlock the phone like this. Then, as you connect the USB cable, the application, in this case DriveLink, will launch automatically. Once the app is open, it will ask you to agree to a warning. Don't agree just yet. What you need to do is now go to the touchscreen menu by pressing this button here on the outside of the touchscreen. Then press the connect button, the yellow button here on the touchscreen. This will then connect to your phone. Now on the touchscreen, you should see a mirror image of what is on your smartphone, like this. You now need to agree to the warning on the touch screen rather than the phone. Now you can see the phone home screen and as you can hear, mirror screen is reading my notifications to me. Step four, let's look at what functions I have available to me now on the touch screen from my phone. To open up the functions, I need to press this up arrow at the bottom of the screen. So you can see here, I have three functions available to me, music, location, and phone. In music, I have access to all of my tracks, allowing me to search and play album tracks or shuffle just like I can on my phone. In location, I can use Google Maps as my satellite navigation system, which allows me to search for destinations really easily. I can also search Google for places of interest, individual shops, parks, hospitals for example by name, and it will navigate me to them simply and easily, just like the application does on my phone. Finally, in the phone app, I have the normal phone functions that I'm used to, like call history and access to my phone book, but I can also get the system to read my text messages to me while I'm driving, like this. And if it's urgent and I need to reply, I can send one of these pre-written messages so the sender knows that I'm not ignoring them. I can also write and send a message if I want, but only if the car is stationary. There are a couple of limitations to the system to make you aware of, once you are